Welcome back to another video of mine where I'm going to create a painting and tell you all about it. On this video, on this episode of this video, oh, maybe I should call them episodes. I think that's a better idea. On this video of this episode, episode, I don't know. Yikes, this is not going well so far. In this video, I'm gonna be creating a new original of mine. It's what this idea is, um, it's about sort of your comfort zone, staying out of your comfort zone. And um, I have this idea of this object sort of at the center of this really plain background. The whole premise of this is sort of staying out of your comfort zone. I think I've done a pretty good job in my life of staying out of my comfort zones and staying uh, curious and willing to fail and trying things that scare the shit out of me and putting myself in really uncomfortable positions. I think that often leads to breakthroughs or advances in your life, whether personally or professionally. So that's sort of the inspiration or the, the theme of this and it'll make more sense as I, as I go along. The inspiration sort of behind some of the idea comes from this photographer named Paul Jung, who I've actually used uh, in a different painting of mine. Um, he just has these very minimalist black and white uh, photographs. They use a lot of shadows. I've done other work of mine. I, I really love stuff with shadows. So uh, it's kind of got these figures that are walking in different directions and I have them, I'm going to have them all sort of avoiding this one colored object. It's probably gonna be blue or something sort of, uh, that's undecided, um, but it's just gonna be a big object with its own shadow, but all these individuals that are walking uh, around the page are gonna be kind of avoiding this thing. And that's why I kind of joke that it's a self-portrait because I feel like I've always kind of done that, not always super successfully, but you try to get out of the way of that comfort zone and stay, you know, instead of going towards this big colorful light, you wanna kind of, again, go those directions that maybe are off the beaten path, but they may lead somewhere. So that's the idea. Now I'm gonna get started on it. I'm gonna be mixing just a really, really light gray for this because everything, I want the black and whites to really pop out. So um, just gonna be mixing white and black, titanium white and carbon black to be exact. Um, just gonna be mixing that and covering the whole background for now before we start putting all the people on it. So I'm gonna be painting blue inside of this circle. I actually found this at Michael's. I needed a perfect circle and I know I'm gonna screw it up if I try to do it on my own. I needed something that I could just fill in. So this is actually a floral, uh, I don't remember. It's something for floral design. It gives me the exact size that I need, pretty much the exact shape, obviously. I'm not gonna try to do it up on the easel, so I'm gonna move it to the ground so that I have a flat surface. I try to get out of my own way, it basically is what I'm trying to say. Sometimes I'll just rush something and be like, ah, I can do it up here, and then I'll go do it and ruin the entire painting. Taping this bad boy down, because I don't wanna screw this up, which basically would mean I would have to redo the entire background because there's no way I can mix that exactly and you'd be able to tell that it's not, and it would drive me insane. So hopefully this goes really well. Um, I mean, I'm not doing anything too crazy, but again, if it's not a perfect circle, 
This thing's kind of shot and I'm gonna have to basically start a lot of this over. Okay, so that went pretty well. Hard to tell until I take that off. So I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then we'll see what, what we got. Okay, it is the moment of truth. Did we get a perfect circle out of this? Or does this look like shit? To be revealed right now. I'm nervous. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's stuck. Okay, that is really on there. And it looks uh, like shit. spilled out of the sides oh, Jesus Christ that that does not look good well then that went horribly wrong um, on to plan B uh, the good news is there's always a plan B the bad news is I wasn't prepared for a plan B, so I don't even know what that is yet. Oh, God. I will get back to you on that. To be continued. Okay. That's not going to work. That looks terrible, as you can see. Uh, I've already ordered an actual stencil, not my makeshift Michael's stencil, so that does not arrive for a couple days. I was hoping to finish this entire thing tonight. That's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna start another painting tonight just to feel like I'm accomplishing something in a couple days when that arrives. We will have it. It'll just be slightly bigger, which I actually kind of like, but I need it to be perfect. So to be continued. Okay. So after a couple days of waiting to get a stencil, the best one I found was a kid's stencil for uh, some bedroom shapes. Whatever, it works. This is slightly bigger than the current mess that I have on the canvas, so that's what I'm gonna use. And now I just have these other circle shapes if I need them in the future. So I can stop ruining things by trying to makeshift them. So let the... Let the show go on.
Okay, so behind me, you have the finished product. I'm done. A couple little spots. I don't know how, but the paint looks like it came off some in a few different spots. So I got to go in and touch that up. And then I'm going to varnish it. And then this baby is done. Okay, so varnish should be dry. Everything's completely done at this point. So let's see how this turned out. So the varnish looks great on it. It's actually kind of hard to tell because there's not too many colors or different things to pop. Um, so as you're looking at this clip of this, you, I don't know if you'd entirely be able to tell. You can tell a lot in person because um, it just adds a little bit of shine to it, saturates things, makes things pop a little bit more. But other than that, this thing is all done. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It kind of, the mental image from the drawing that I initially did to what I had in mind for this, um, it came to life. So I'm happy to see that. And you know, I just wanted to create something that had that message attached that was pretty clear, but also if you were looking at it for the first time without me explaining what the theme was or what it was about, it would probably force you to kind of come to your own conclusions. And so I'd be really curious to see what others would probably think of this uh, when they first saw it, because if you don't know exactly what it was about, um, I feel like it just gets your mind working a little bit. But anyway, I'm happy with it. I love when I have an idea that right after I'm done, I think, yes, that's exactly what I was going for, because sometimes it's, Sometimes it doesn't work. I've had a lot of projects uh, over the last year that I either stopped entirely or I finished but knew I hated it um, all the way up until the end. And I think that's normal. I think that's okay and part of sort of the creative process, right? Uh, I don't think you always like what you do. So thanks for watching this video. Welcome to any of the new subscribers on here. I had posted some stuff on TikTok recently that that kind of took off a little bit. and. Um, so welcome, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one.